The 2014 Olympic Games are in full swing in Sochi. It's the fifth day of competitions. Here's a roundup of today's winners. Germany is currently in the lead with six gold medal wins, but only has a grand total of eight medals. Canada is in second place with 10 medals, and Norway is in third with 12. Netherlands is in fourth place, followed by the U.S., Switzerland, Russia, and Australia. RT correspondent Paul Scott is in Sochi with the latest on the Games. Well, the big winner on day five, certainly from a home fan's point of view, was Russia in the figure skating. They continued their dominance of that event with a gold and silver medal in the pairs event. Now, the gold medal went to the world and European champions Tatiana Volozazar and Maxim Trankov. Now, they had the lead at the halfway stage after they put in a world record performance in the short program on Tuesday evening. And they followed that up on Wednesday with another remarkable and faultless display in the free program to secure the gold medal and uh, they were clearly visibly overcome by the emotion of it all at the end of their performance which raised the roof inside the iceberg skating palace meanwhile their teammates Ksenia Stolbova and Fedor Klimov came in second uh, so it was almost a clean sweep for Russia Germany got the bronze but these medals uh, are added to the uh, gold that Russia have already won in the figure skating they secured gold in the team event over the course of the weekend and with this gold and silver it very much seems that in terms of figure skating, Russia are very much the nation to catch. Well, elsewhere, there was bitter disappointment for American athletes on day five. And one of the biggest stars of these games, one of the biggest attractions for fans, is 27-year-old snowboarder Sean White. But the two-time defending champion lost his crown in the snowboard halfpipe. He didn't even claim a medal, coming in in fourth place. He'd earlier pulled out of the slope style to concentrate on this event. So afterwards, he said the moment wouldn't be career-defining. The gold medal in that went to Yuri Podlachnikov. Also, it was a pretty disappointing day for another American star in Shani Davis. Now, he was going to try and make history in the 1,000 meter speed skating event in the Adler Arena. Had he uh, won the gold medal, then it would be the first time that anyone has won three consecutive gold medals in the same event at three uh, consecutive Olympic Games. However, he was well off the pace in the end, uh, coming in in eighth place. So, really, a sort of disappointing day for many American athletes. But the uh, excitement is building ahead of the men's hockey competition, of course. There's going to be an expectant home crowd, uh, Russia playing on home ice, and there's going to be many, many nations, experts are saying there are many nations who could win the Olympic gold medal this time round, from Sweden to Russia to Canada and, of course, the USA. Now, the... Um, Men's hockey competition has actually started on Wednesday with some preliminary matches, but Russia's first game comes against Slovakia uh, tomorrow on Thursday. And uh, there's an interesting discussion, of course, because the NHL is currently on a break to allow the players who play in the NHL to come here to Sochi and participate in the uh, Winter Olympics. But there's a talk that that might not happen, and uh, in four years' time, the NHL might not allow their players uh, to go on a break. So that's something that's up for discussion. But in terms of the action, uh, Russia and America, their first match begins on Thursday. That was RT's Paul Scott reporting from Sochi.